Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to set up AD Connect Sync and integrate with ADFS. So if you have ADFS in your environment and you want to integrate with uh, AD Connect Sync, you can do that with AD Connect uh, Installer. So here's my ADFS um, service, adfs.o365.com. And when I sign in, it's going to ask for my credentials. So now let's get started. I'm going to launch the AD Connect setup. I have downloaded it here. It's AD Connect. Right click and go to install. The installation will take a few minutes. Um, I'm probably going to pause the video, pause the recording, and we'll come back. Click on Agree License, click on Customize. I don't need to specify custom installations using existing SQL servers. If you have 100,000 objects or more, you might want to use the SQL servers or instead of the um, SQL Express. Existing service account. I don't need to do anything here. Click next or install. As you can see, here, it's installing SQL uh, Express. This will take a few minutes. Um, I'm going to pause the pause the recording and welcome back. All right. So I'm going to choose Federation with ADFS. Click next. I'm going to enter my global admin account. Password. <clears throat> Click next. I'm going to add the Active Directory, create new account, all right, I click next. I'm going to use the, the default, which is use the principal name. Check the box, continue without matching all UPN suffix verify domain. Next. I'm going to choose, I'm going to sync just one OU only, which is Office 365 here. It's going to sync both computers and user accounts. Now I click next. This is fine, should take us default. Gonna be synchronize all users and devices. Next. It's fine, click next. This is the domain account that need access to ADFS service. Configure new existing farm. I'm going to use the existing UDF, uh, existing ADF farms. Click on that one and then browse. Want to enter my compute the ADFS servers. ADFS search. Hmm. 
Let's see here. I thought I added. Let's try to configure new existing. Nope. Let's browse the server again. ADFS. Here it is. Check the box. I'll click OK. Next. I need to choose the domain, say select Azure, do Azure domain to federate with on-premise Active Directory. So that's going to be this account, uh, this domain. Click next. Once you click install, we do the following. It's going to configure synchronization servers on this computer, configure federated service ADFS 03652.com and configure AD Trust for 0365. Let's go on to start the synchronization process. Click on install. So this will take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the recording and we'll return. I will come back. All right, look like it's still going and it's finally completed. This looks good. It's green. The configuration is complete. I'm going to click next. I need to um, you must be able to resolve your federation service endpoint for both intranet and extranet to succeed successfully log in. So you need if you haven't done creating the the uh, DNS record, you need to do so. You can verify the connection since I don't have the extranet created yet. I'm not going to check this box. I'm not going to check this two box if I don't want to. Um, but I'm going. I might have an error if I verify because I have not created the extra net. This one should be okay. Let's verify that. So it just say internet configuration was successfully verified with one warning. The federation service service name ADFS was verified and resolved to IPv4 but not IPv5. That's fine. I'm gonna click it verify. Oh sorry, verify. So I can click exit. So this is it. This is it, folks. This is how you configure the um, ADFS with um, Azure AD Connect. Sorry. So guys, so one thing I forgot to um, to test is let's log in with my one of my user account here. I'm gonna open, open up portal dot portal dot com. I'm going to enter the credentials. Let's forget this one. Forget. Let's enter the credentials. User one at 03652.com. So this should take me to ADFS um, login page when I click next, after I click next. There it is, and now I enter my password. Click no, I don't need to stay signed in. 
So there it is. It works now. Thank you. Thanks again. And thanks for watching. Please, if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.